Good morning, Dialed fans, and welcome back to Leger for day three, downhill qualifying, and last chance for puzzling before finals tomorrow. Let's go check it out. How's it going out there today, man? Um, Chucky's getting rougher, and turns are getting blown out. 89. So, it's tough. It's all about, like, trying to survive. Do you mind telling me how the cross-country track is running? Yeah, it's a nice ride. Uh, not too much technical and long climbs. I love it when it's when it when there are long climbs because I'm a good climber and yeah. What's going on with the bike? Um, yeah, there are three pace uh, uh, spacer in the fork, and I think uh, two are better. I felt the fork wasn't using all its travel, so we whipped out a volume spacer, um, popped him up a little bit in pressure, um, and he's a way to try it out and see. Oh, she's rough this morning. It was a good wake up call. Big holds, dusty loose, but yeah, it how it is. Any changes to the bike? Uh, yeah, maybe just try to find a balance now between stiff setup and uh, not too stiff, like balance between like, just smooth, smooth bike. And my rear wheel is lost the grip mm -hmm. and it's really sketchy. Okay. Maybe a little bit in front and we lost the grip. Everybody is, yeah. but we'll see. Oh, the truck is really dusty, really slippery. I have a good feeling on my, on my bike, but it's really hard with his many destroyed this morning after all the training yesterday. But the bike is good and it's perfect for the race. I lost many of the grip in everywhere on my bike. We'll check it with Jordi and we'll try again after before the Cali and we will see for the Cali. Rebounds a little bit faster and back. Okay. So just bed up uh, rebound on shock and high speed rebound on the fork and then opened high speed compression a bit. Because it sounds like yesterday the track was smoother and for some reason now first thing in the morning it's rougher even though nobody rode it all night. But everything's completely different. I think it's usually just going to bed, resting, coming back and like the shock to the system of going fast again. And I'm like turning, compressing, goes deep and just like I feel like I've got too much, you know, it's like that. Okay. I only did like halfway. Okay. Should I put back the other shock? Will it make it sure. different? different? Yeah, you don't seem to like this one, so. I don't know. I don't know how I'm gonna like the other one either, so. But your fork is. That's in low speed compression. Two? Two, another, the other shot? Yeah. Did you set it up already? Yeah, I okay. mean, I can't do much until we ride it a little bit. Uh, Jesus. Okay, see you in a bit. See you. No, I, I think maybe it's just me. So when I go out of the start gate and there are all the breaking bumps mm -hmm. in the first part and I think they get bigger and bigger and I had problems to, to hold it and with the fork. So it felt like like it is hopping somewhere. Okay. Um, but yesterday it was okay. So yesterday it no I know, problem. that's, that's what. So weird, maybe, yeah. I don't know if I should do another run. So I just done one. Oh. Um, but it was like, she sends me somewhere. <laughs> Maybe it's also just me, so the, the bumps are getting bigger and bigger, you know. Did you change some of this? No. I actually haven't. Somebody did. No. <laughs> just, uh... How's it going this morning, Nina? My <laughs> first run was loose. But like the first section, you go out of the start gate and you have to be on 100% because it's so fast and a lot of breaking bumps like everywhere, so loose and uh, yeah, it's like riding on the edge all the time. I think breaking a bit too much, being a bit too fast, you will crash. <laughs> uh, I closed high speed, opened low speed and slowed uh, low speed rebound on the fork. How's the bike? Good. So, so back to like my old self a bit yesterday. Okay. Yeah, How many runs did you get this morning? Just one. Okay. Um, I did a time run, felt super good. Pushed it a little bit. And now like the, feel the, the feeling I'm getting is I can get into the rut and then it's like bouncing out of the rut. Like, I feel like I'm getting in and when it's in the trouble it's like pushing me out. Okay. Um, 
Okay. I still feel quite confident on like high speed little rough stuff, like where it's high in the travel. But I just like when I'm, you know, like you commit to a rut and you get in, yeah, yeah. and you, you can't help, you are on the brakes in there. Yeah. And then I feel like the front's pushing a little bit when I'm in the rut. Okay. But apart from that, honestly, I feel, feel super good. Okay. I like, that was at the top and I just repositioned it in the other way. Okay. Brain dog, how's the track running this morning? No. 70k an hour the whole way down. No, it's a typical French style, flat out. They've done no work at all. Just like, there you go, ride down that. Which at first I think people are a bit pissed about, but I think it's quite cool. It's cut up pretty good. Hopefully the rain stays off. Pucker. You liking the track? I am, yeah, I'm really liking it. I feel like, I feel like, I feel like we could be on for a good one here, you know. I'm just up for top 10, you know, that's what I want. So, we'll see. It's baby steps, sir. Baby steps. And what are you hoping to get from Jordy here? Um, bike actually feels like really balanced and good, but I think I'm pushing a bit harder now, and it's the front's like jumping around a little bit. I kind of want to get into the rut and it to stay in there, which I know is probably not just the fork's uh, fault, but I'm trying to get all the aid I can. All I really did is slowed high speed rebound on the fork. Okay. So I think when you when you go in, it's gonna hold the front yeah. a little bit more to keep weight on it, instead yeah. of like popping back and then riding out of the How does that feel? Feels okay. Yeah. I just changed the spring a touch. Cool. Try that. Nice. Thank you, boys. You're welcome. Ciao. See you in a bit. The back is better, but the front is more slippery. Does it feel like the front's too high, like you can't get over the front, or mm, just not really. pushing? Yeah. Okay. Maybe I ride more fast too. Yeah, for sure. Mm. But. Does it feel like it, like it wants to push, like when you go deep in the front, like it wants to push back a yeah, bit? Yeah, it does. Okay, cool. Try it. Okay, thank you. See you. The fork feels way better. Good changes. <laughs> so way more control in the braking bumps. It's just going straight. Yeah, maybe that's what it was. Oh, no. I want to say peace. <laughs> Jordi? Yeah? It's way better. Yeah, but? No, not but. Just <laughs> really, it feels like a different fork, so. Cool. Just smoother and just straight and no. I, I don't know. <laughs> Perfect, thank you. You're welcome. Like I felt like the shock was too slow. Just like you go in and it stays in. Just no playful, not playful. And it was still that feeling of you need to, you know. So I went back up, put one click of high speed open on both, like compression and rebound. Felt better. Still fighting a bit the corners like you know it's like it turns right and you're like Yarrr! so but balance is good now I like the way I feel on the bike the uh, the way I yeah stand but it's rougher not rougher from yesterday compared to yesterday and I feel that we could improve the bike a bit it's like it seems to me like the beginning is really soft, so I'm not using it. I'm sitting in that right after stroke, and then it blows through like easy. I wish there would be like a medium uh, compression. Yeah, check the settings, please. Thank you. Do you want to close low speed compression a bit to get it to sit up a little bit? I just need like grip so like really I think you could speed up high speed rebound another click I could well like the one I've watched looked like you had compressed fully so that's, and then we're over the front but not like a rebound that's thing that's not happening anymore that okay. it's just go, it blows through now like okay. whenever there's a big hit just it's not you know like planted 
bam, bam, bam. Yeah. Okay, give it a try. Maybe a touch fast, high speed. But The thing I... It's like... Nice big it. It used to be like up top. I don't know if it's like when it's cold or something. It just go boom and stop and harsh. Now it's like all is good, so it's good. You start out body cold and temperature cold and then everything warms up. So you just end up going back and forth for no reason. But Loris is special anyway. I uh, do the same as Luis, I found some Allen key and I opened two click the high speed compression and the low speed and at the top it was better, way better, I feel okay, if, but I don't know if it's me or the bike, at the end I just, uh, I was like one time too much late since yesterday, you know, I had the time break too late, I push too late, corner too late, I don't know. How many runs have you got? Three. Two complete runs two complete. and three top. Okay. And the fox feel like a bit, uh, 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 you know, I don't know. I really don't know. The bottom fork pretty good, or don't feel it? Mm, I don't feel it really well. Just, I just, yeah, I just feel like the thing, I have, like on the brake bumps. Yeah. Okay. Okay, it's gonna be good. Perfect. Thank you so much. <laughs> <Good one. laughs> Thank you. Right. See, See you. So we have two weeks after this race, and I want to either try something different or have something different to try. I know it's the same, but to try. You just want something different to try. Exactly. <laughs> just to try something different. Exactly. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with what you're on there? Um, it's just like from where. Do you move on? Like you have something you feel good on, but maybe something else is better or faster or so, worse. Or worse. So I want to figure it out and have like not two weeks, but I'm gonna ride maybe two days. <laughs> so we see. That's a stock, I think. Is it a stock? Your shoulder's leaking. Is it, ah yeah. Sorry. You have a paper towel. You can try faster. <laughs> Way too slow. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Maybe yeah. I was actually thinking. Mm. See? Actually. Yeah. Because the thing that I've been liking this year is bigger spring compared to last year and less damping, kind of. Yeah. Yeah. So that's it. <laughs> now I don't know what to try. So, so for the next two weeks, let's give him a one, one spring rate higher. Spring, like this big. One, one spring 550? rate higher. Yep. Nah. Let's give him a 600. Oh. It's called bracketing. We go big. <laughs> First run. 600. Somebody watches video. Yeah. And, and then we'll just open up the compression a bit and try that. Just full up and yeah. everything up. No! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. How did your qualifier go, Marin? I finished second. Yeah, I have a good run. I do some little mistake, but the time is really close and I'm happy it's cool for tomorrow. Any changes for race day? Yeah, for just maybe my tire, but my shocks and fork is really cool. I like it, it's perfect. Feeling like the front was off. Like, kicked, not so much, but front just dive in and never come back. Never come back. Even on the top section, I was like braking, it was just like diving. Should we check the pressure? Maybe drop sure. down. How was qualifying? Um, I had a big well, crash yesterday, so I didn't do time practice. Yep. So I guess I was. Uh, a bit off pace because it was my first full run kind of fast and I'm at, I'm off the pace a bit I'm like fifth like maybe four seconds behind on that track is a lot so need some uh, need to find some uh, seconds for tomorrow and hope uh, he can help me because he's talking all the time look at him always never walking yeah yeah yep yeah. tomorrow is gonna be tough I'm gonna need to go fast I think we can go up in pressure still yeah, it's, it's not hard. No, I don't want to speed it up and Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm okay with that. But if you put, if you had put like more PSI, maybe slow it down a bit. That's a good idea. Because the rebound wasn't off, it was just like, I was... 
We go up three and a half. What? Three and a half. Fuck this is up. You have to go faster tomorrow. I have to. So three and a half probably be good for today. Yeah. But tomorrow you're gonna go even faster. Yeah, gotcha, gotcha. Wasn't. Okay. Yeah. I'd like to see like first run tomorrow. Cause I still feel like maybe something is like one click. Okay. Off. I might try also as guy on the front. I think I said that. You told me no. I haven't tried it. You don't think it's too too much dust? <coughs> if it's hard, the ask guy's gonna be amazing. Hard, really hard. That's better. You think so? Yeah. As guy is good when it's like. All terrain and a little bit of fish, 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 fish. Hmm. I'm gonna walk the track. Okay, can you? How did your qualifier go? Uh, for the moment, 22, but and, uh, I, some other rider still coming. But I do a good run, I'm qualified, don't crash, don't mistake. Just a bit too much on the brakes, like uh, in this track you have to be really slow. And yeah, I. I don't know if I do that, but tomorrow is another day. I'm qualified. Yeah. Tomorrow is the final. All right, that wraps things up for qualifying day here in Leger with factory rider Danny Hart in fourth, followed by Loris in fifth, Greg in sixth, and Bernard Kerr in seventh. We'll see you tomorrow for finals.